Well, I'm Tim Robinson uh, with the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. Uh, what we have on our booth today is a working model of Charles Babbage's second difference engine. Uh, we're displaying this because we have an exhibit opening starting next Saturday of the real machine, five tons of steel, bronze and cast iron, uh, built by the Science Museum in London and it's uh, going to be exhibited uh, from next Saturday through April 2009. The difference engine is a machine designed for calculating mathematical tables of the kind everyone used to use before pocket calculators. Here's an example that I used to use in high school. And it calculates by the math mathematical process of the method of finite differences, which reduces the problem to just additions. I turn the crank here, and it goes through a sequence of additions, which produce results on the leftmost column of numbers. And you would read the numbers from the top down here. So this number is 0471. And we see 0471 right there, the sign of um, 2 degrees and 42 minutes in the table. The numbers are represented on the columns, most significant digit at the top. This is the result column, and then there are four difference columns, one, two, three, four. And each complete calculation takes the number on the D4 column, adds it to the D3 column, takes the number on D3, adds it to D2, takes the number on D2, adds it to D1, takes the number on D1, adds it to the result, and you get a new result. However, Babbage was a little smarter than that, he pipelined the machine. He did all the even to odd calculations in one phase and all the odd to even calculations in a second phase. So you get a new result out every two additions, not every four as you might expect. Babbage never completed any of his machines. The largest thing that Babbage actually completed in his own lifetime is this small demonstration piece from Difference Engine Number 1. Uh, this is an artifact in the Science Museum in London. It works perfectly to this day, but it was just a demonstration piece. The real machine would have been about seven times the size, and it would also have had a printing and stereotyping apparatus attached to it. He did paper designs for a machine called his analytical engine, a programmable general purpose computer. And then in 1848, he drew up the plans uh, for the difference engine number two. And this was first built, uh, finished in 2002 at the Science Museum in London by a team led by uh, Doran Swade, the curator of computing there. And in, over the last six years, the museum has been, uh, been building a second copy. It's now on loan to us at the uh, Computer History Museum. The machine is actually owned by Nathan Mirvold, the former chief, chief technical officer of Microsoft. And after it uh, leaves us in April 2009, it will go into his personal collection.